close do I have to hold it? Right here. You just you don't have to hold it that close. Okay. Just a little bit. <laughs> Keith Kelly, Director of Athletics Communication here at Hendricks College, and I have alongside me head men and women's cross country coach. Andrew Rasky, I forgot your name for a second, Coach Rasky. Appreciate you it. That's you when here. you know you're doing big things <laughs> when they forget your name. <laughs> well, you guys have been uh, underway, I guess, for, for about a month now. Uh, we just want to recap a couple of the meets you guys had previously. Started out two weeks ago, driving up to Fayetteville, hosted by the Arkansas Razorbacks ACC member, took on, took part in a chili pepper meet. What was the mindset following that meet up there? Um, you know, I think we were in a really good place coming out of that one. Uh, we only brought uh, a few of our top runners uh, for the men and the women. And um, I think, you know, we kind of rebounded from a tough race the week before and really left feeling, you know, feeling pretty good. Um, that's uh, they run a high school race up there. So our uh, Arkansas natives had, you know, had ran the course. It's a huge meet. So it's just something for them to, to get excited about. When we ran some fast time. So we were, you know, feeling pretty good coming out of that one. Individually, as Rachel Allen, freshman, finished 224th. You see 224th, you might think, you know, you think for a second and see that number, but this is a, a meet that a lot of Division One schools, such as UALR, down the road, Wichita State, Stephen F. Austin, Missouri State, to name just a few, all these have several individuals that compete in this. So Rachel Allen finished 224th with a time of 20 minutes and 40 seconds and one-tenth of a second. Followed up behind her was Rachel McGee, another freshman, Finished 328, uh, yeah, 328 with a time of 22 minutes and eight seconds. For the guys, Nathan Andrus, uh, did I say that name right? Yeah. Andrus, a senior, with a time of 29 minutes and four tenths of a second, followed up by Graham Anderson, who finished 419th. After that meet, you guys traveled not as far this time, but traveled to Clarksville, uh, I guess a little bit over an hour to take part in the uh, Ozarks Invitational. Uh, the women compete in the 5K 3.0. One one miles when the guys competed in the 8K. How did that go, and what was the mindset following that? Uh, I think that one went pretty well. Uh, the uh, The course is a little bit tougher at uh, at Ozarks than it is at Chili Pepper, so the times were a little bit slower because of that. Um, there's a couple tough hills back in the woods that uh, that that slow you down a little bit. But um, the big thing with that meet is the uh, anyone who finished in the top 10 got a free T-shirt, and anytime a T-shirt's on the line, you know you know the kids are going to step up. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Nathan on the men's side and then uh, Rachel and Rachel on the women's side both uh, both finished that and actually uh, Tali Ramirez was an unfortunate 11th place just one spot out of the t-shirts which is always you know it's always heartbreaking for the youngsters but she's got she's got three more years to to earn that shirt so that should definitely be a little bit of motivation <laughs> for next year for that it was again Rachel Allen a freshman finishing tops for Hendricks with a time of 21 minutes and 14 seconds followed up behind Rachel McGee who you mentioned finishing top 10 with a time of 23 minutes and 20 seconds and as a team collectively collectively i can't talk the girls finished third and that's a pretty good finish ain't it yeah um so yeah we were able to to beat a couple teams it, it uh it was a smaller meet a lot more you know competitive for us than you know going up to uh you know the u of a and having to race you know some some of the top programs in the sec and the big 12 but uh you know getting to you know get in that race and getting a more competitive mindset and really see you know how our how our team races. I think that was pretty pretty valuable for us going forward. Well, the guys again is going to be Nathan and Andrus. I butchered his name up a little bit. <laughs> finished with a time of 29 minutes and 46 seconds. Another senior finishing right there, and followed up behind him was Michael Miller. So you guys competed in that, and now we're up to date. So you guys are going to travel down the road about 30 minutes to taking part in the UAL, UALR. I can't talk today. Invite next weekend. How's that going to go? Um, uh, we'll see. Uh, it's not, uh, not a meet we've been to in the last couple of years, but, uh, so we'll kind of see, you know, who, who else shows up and, you know, who's, who we're racing against. But, um, uh, I think it should be good. It'll be our last, uh, last tune up before, uh, before the conference championship. So, um, I think our team's in, in position to run pretty well. Our men will run 8k again. Our women will run, uh, 5k. Um, so I think, uh, it should be good to, you know, really check and see where we're at and, uh, put us in a good position as we go into into championship season is there anything else you want to say um no i think uh i think that about covers it uh i think uh that uh that's that's basically the the summation of where the, the cross country season is so far well you heard it from him we will see you guys next week on the warriors coaching show Mama told me, uh,